Seth Tepe's presentation was preceded with a heated debate between both sides of the House over the justification of his presentation as minority members contended the minister's presentation was not registered in the parliamentary order book. Speaker of the House, Do Ajaho was thus compelled to suspend sitting for almost a couple of hours as members of the House sought a level ground. I indicated this morning, I had a meeting with my procedural clerks as to the best way forward in handling this matter. When I was informed that it was going to be a statement, we look at the rules of the House and we also were guided by President. As been mentioned by the Honorable Majority Leader, in the statement presented on the 27th of October 1999, what is battling this house cropped up on that day, and members were raising the issue as to whether it should not have come by motion, the ordinary statement. If it is in the wisdom of this house that we should change course and make a specific provision in our standing order to deal with this matter, once it is not a constitutional matter, the House is at liberty to do so in their standing orders. Indeed, this was the direction that the late Peter Alajete gave on this matter. Talks between both sides of the House put positive paving way for the presentation of the supplementary budget estimate by Seth Tegwe. In his presentation, the finance minister revealed 38-point precautionary steps to be taken by government to forestall any setbacks in the economy. The 38-point steps include the reduction in expenditure by 344 million cities, reduction in transfers to the Ghana National Petroleum Stabilization Fund by 468 million cities, as well as the domestic financing of the budget estimated at 6.4 billion cities, among others. The key measures include an across-board reduction in expenditure savings of goods and services and capital by 340, 44 million Ghana cities and 868.4 million Ghana cities, respectively, as well as a drawdown from the Ghana Stabilization Fund. However, these measures are designed, also designed to protect special social spending. Mr. Speaker, similarly, transfers to the Ghana National Oil Company from governments carried and participating interest in, in crude oil will be reduced to 468.9 million Ghana cities. In summary, the estimates for the total expenditure and arrears and clearance for 2015 are expected to decline by 1.5 billion Ghana cities from 41.2 billion or 30.5% of GDP to 39.7 billion Ghana cities or 29.8% of GDP. Based on these expected changes in total revenue and grants, as well as total expenditure and arrears, the fiscal deficit for 2015 is expected to be 10.0 billion Ghana cities, or 7.5% of GDP, up from 2015 budget target of 8.8 .8 billion Ghana cities, or 6.5% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, in line with the formula specified in Section 12 of the PRMA, it is expected that an amount of it, an amount of 4.872 million Ghana cities will be drawn from the Ghana Stabilization Fund on a quarterly basis to finance the potential gap. Said Tekpe also updated the House and talks reached with the IMF, which will see Ghana's program with a Bretton Woods institution supported by a three year extended credit facility arrangement. According to Seth Tekpe, the IMF board is scheduled to meet in April 
to consider and approve Ghana's program with the fund. We have been in negotiations with the IMF and subsequently had four rounds of negotiations with the fund. During the last visit of the fund mission in, a, in Ghana from 19 to 26 February 2015, government reached staff level agreement with the fund subject to approval by the IMF board, management and executive board. The program will be supported by a three-year extended credit facility or ECF arrangement. The proposed assets, access to the fund resources, which is for a balanced payment support, will total 664 million SDR or about 940 million US dollars or 180% of Ghana's IMF quota. Right Honorable Speaker, I am happy to inform you that the IMF Executive Board is scheduled to meet in early April to consider improved Ghana's program with the fund. The supplementary budget estimate presented by Seth Tegbe comes in the wake of Ghana's early economy indicative of a city depreciating of over 57%, huge budget deficit and a debt stock marginally above the 60% benchmark.